Hey everyone, this is Vikas for Skyline Motions and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this type of uh, ink splash kind of effect in Blackmagic Fusion. So let's have a look and get started. Alright, so let's open up Fusion and take a new composition. So go to File menu and click on New and take a new composition. Now go to File menu and click on Preferences and here is Frame Format. So set this uh, frame format 1920 to 1080 and 30 frames per second. So uh, it should be good and click on Save. Now let's import an image file. So go to Folder and uh, drag this image file you can download this image file from pixabay.com and i have given a link in the description so download this and drag and drop to the flow window and now click on this window layout one for single view and right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap and now let's uh, rename this so select this and press f2 on the keyboard to rename and rename it to image okay and drag it to the viewer and click on this fit button and now select this and press a shift plus a space bar for search box and search for crop so this is our crop node click on ok and drag this crop node to the viewer and select this crop node and set this y offset to approx uh, uh, 170 and click on ok Okay, now let's import an ink splash footage. So go to folder and this is our ink splash. Uh, you can also download this from Pixabay and link given in the description. So download this and drag and drop to the flow window and drag this ink to the viewer. So it's looking something like that. And now let's fit this composition uh, 150 frame long, which is uh, approximately five seconds. So put the value uh, 150 and hit enter okay now let's play this okay so it's looking nice okay now we have to take a merge node so click on this merge button and add a merge node and connect this yellow point to this uh, crop and green point to this ink splash and drag this merge one to the viewer okay now select this ink and press shift plus a space bar and search for resize so this is a resize node click on ok and drag this to the viewer and now drag this merge one ok now select this merge and go to properties and here is apply mode and change this a uh, normal to screen so it's looking something like that ok now select this crop node and uh, click on this xf and add a transform node and drag this transform to the viewer and go to frame number 150 and here is sides so right click on this click on animate and um, set this value uh, prox uh, 1.2 and hit enter and go to frame number 0 and set this to default okay so it's looking like this all right now select this transform and go to tool menu and add a color corrector so go to color and here is color corrector node so click on this and attach a color corrector node and drag this to the viewer and go to frame number 150 and here is master saturation so right click on this click on animate and uh, go to frame number zero and set this master saturation value uh, something like zero should be good and uh, so it's looking something like this all right now uh, drag this merge over here and select this resize and click on this xf and add a transform after this resize and drag this merge to the viewer and select this transform and here is a flip vertically so click check this box okay so now let's play this all right so it's looking awesome Okay, now we have to take a background node, so click on this uh, BG button and add a background node. Right click on this and uh, uh, rename it to a uh, black. Okay, and hit enter and uh, select this black node and here is a rectangle mask. So click on this and add a rectangle mask and set this rectangle mask uh, something like um, 
that and click on this invert button and and now take a merge node so click on this merge button and rename it to uh, a final and click on ok now now connect this yellow point to this merge one and green point to this black and drag this final to the viewer so it's looking something like that select this rectangle and uh, set this uh, approx yeah okay so it's done and now let's check this animation all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it so i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye